Hey, babe, miss you, thinking about you. How about me going to a meeting and doing this before I go? Ladies and gentlemen, the Miami Dolphins giving new meaning to line coach. Welcome to That's Good Sports. I am Brandon. My deviated septum has never allowed me to do cocaine properly, Perna. And yes, that was the Miami Dolphins, now former offensive line coach, Chris Forrester, doing cocaine right before a meeting making Dolphins team meetings officially the most boring meetings in the NFL. This is what trying to protect Jay Cutler week in and week out will do to a man. I really, I blame Jay for this. I can confirm with a source through the Miami Dolphins organization that Chris Forrester's favorite song is in fact, Cocaine by Eric Clapton. His favorite TV show is in fact, Narcos on Netflix. His favorite movie? Surprisingly, 10 Things I Hate About You. I mean, Heath Ledger's breakout movie? How can you argue with that? This is definitely the uh, creepiest cocaine video I have ever seen, and that includes all the coke scenes from Requiem for a Dream. But I miss you. I miss you a lot. What do you think, crazy? No, no, creepy. It's, it's creepy. It's gonna be a while before we can do this again. I'm not gonna keep that baby. But I think about you when I do it. I think about how much I miss you, how high we got together, how much fun it was. So much fun. I'm not sure what all the outrage is about. This is just a love story. The perfect woman, for me, is also intelligent, funny, driven, kind, and of course, gives you that good old fashioned feeling of wanting to do cocaine at work every day. Only true love drives a man to admit this. I wish I was looking at this. This is just a modern day take on when Harry met Sally or You've Got Mail, except Meg Ryan is a Vegas stripper and Tom Hanks loves Colombian, nose powder, and football. Is that what you think? My question is, is cocaine a performance enhancing drug for coaches? I'd be doing cocaine if I were coaching the least interesting position group for a football franchise that has sucked since Dan Marino decided not to do Ace Ventura 2. Personally, I don't care if an NFL coach is doing cocaine. The Cowboys won three fucking Super Bowls high on cocaine. Michael Irvin got into the fucking Hall of Fame because of cocaine. This coach shouldn't have to resign for cocaine. In fact, if you live in Miami and you are not doing cocaine, you should be kicked out of the city. Go to Ocala and dip your toes in the delicious waters of methamphetamines. Cocaine is an opioid. So is Oxycontin, Percocet, Vicodin, all drugs given to football players to combat pain. We have no idea what kind of pain this coach is in. And we shouldn't judge him because he chooses that his drug dealer is Pablo Escobar and not Big Pharma. You think? In my opinion, that's a better choice. The story behind this video is even more bizarre. The girl he uh, is speaking to is the one who posted this video and was most likely extorting him for money. Her name is, and I'm going to fuck this up, Kiwana Naiji. She's a Las Vegas stripper with a heart of gold because she posted this video due to the pushback from the anthem protests about racism. I'm not sure how this helps Colin Kaepernick's cause of ending racial injustice in America, but I encourage all strippers or prostitutes who have videos of NFL coaches doing crazy shit to send them directly to me for my monetary gains on Twitter at Brandon Perna. The best, and I mean absolute best thing about this video is the uh, Fox News website explaining one of her quotes. The white people mad at me, like I forced blow down this man's nose and like I recorded it on the low. Nige wrote, using the word blow, a slang term that typically refers to cocaine. Thank you, thank you Fox for explaining to us what blow means. 
a slang term that typically refers to cocaine. What fucking year do you think it is, Fox? 1970? Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz would be rolling over in their graves if they were dead and really cared about drug lingo. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that the Miami Dolphins have a bit of a PR nightmare on their hands. And to combat that, they've created a new recruitment video for players. I love that they're not apologizing for what happened, but I feel like they're using Hollywood to glorify cocaine use as, an, as a tactic to attract new players. But I guess, I guess that's what it takes to win in the NFL these days. Hey babe, miss you, thinking about you. How about me going to a meeting and doing this before I go? Well, the good thing is I play quarterback, so I don't really have to be in that great of a uh, part of that sort of thing. I don't want to put a wad of white powder in my nose. In Baltimore to Kokomo, I made my skull with blow. <laughs> Hell! May I just have some Coke, please? Okay, is a hell of a drug. I do not. I wish I was looking at this. I don't know, babe. It's going to be a while before we can do this again. This episode is sponsored by BetDSI.com. There's a link in the description. You can use my promo code GOOD25 at BetDSI.com and they're gonna give you $25 to wager however you want on any sports game, any sport. Uh, BetDSI is one of the best, most reliable sports books out there. So make sure you check it out and use my code GOOD25 if you want free money to try to double, triple, or save up for something special. Not gonna say what you could buy with it, but you could buy something. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Sports. Make sure you subscribe here. Give me a follow on Twitter at Brandon Perna if you wanna talk football shit. If you wanna hang out, you got to take her out, cocaine. If you wanna hang out, you got to take her out, cocaine.